Hello and welcome. Today I am filming a quick video on how I decorate my monthly spread. I've just kind of gotten into it. I don't usually do too much to it because it's more of an overview and I don't look at it every day. It's just kind of as a point of reference. But I want to spice it up a little bit so I just thought I'd show you how I'm going to do that. And this is what I'm using. I'm using this punch from Martha Stewart. Some washi tape I got from Michaels. I think both these rolls came from Michaels as well, from individual packages or a part of like a, maybe a two or three pack. And I'm using this paper, also from Michaels, my ruler from my Erin Condren planner, scissors, and I've already run my paper punched through my Xyron. And I will show you what I'm going to do with all of this in just a moment. And let's go. I already pre-cut and I had punched out the, um, the shapes that I'm going to put at the bottom of my planner for those days at the beginning of October and I ran them through the Xyron and I numbered them so I could know where to put them so that it looked almost like it went together and not like I pieced it together which is what I did. So that's the first thing I did. Then I use my washi tape to mark off important dates that I need to remember just so visually I can remember that it's coming I mean I remember anyway but when I see it marked off I'm like oh yeah this is happening or that's happening so that's what I'm doing now which came with my planner to rip the washi tape or to tear it so that I have a straight edge. This tape is more paper-like than plastic, so it tears pretty easily. But if you have a tape that's harder to cut, by all means use scissors. But this tape is paper, it rips pretty easily, and so that's how I'm doing it. washi tape to separate the note section from the months, the days of the month and the calendar. I don't need to, I just do it for decorative reasons, kind of to bring the design together, tie in the green and the purple and the, the yellow. And I messed up ripping the washi tape, so I'm using a sticker at my daughter's suggestion, she's filming. It's like, put a sticker. It's like, oh yeah. So there we go, I hide that mistake, no one ever needed to know. And I'm just going to write in on the washi tape what I'm remembering there, anything that has to be paid or any events coming up. And that's it. And we're done. It's pretty simple, like I said. I already used washi up here to make a note that I had no classes. I was so excited about it. And otherwise, I just use washi to note the specific days where I had something coming up that's just on a monthly basis. So I made a note and wrote on my washi and I had to redo this one because I smudged it. Put that there. I'm using a, um, a Statler. We'll see if it smudges. It might. I usually use a Sharpie, but I'm just feeling lazy. So it is what it is. So anyway, that's what I do. I use washi to mark out dates that I need to remember that are on a monthly basis. And I just kind of messed up, as you saw, putting the washi over here when I was ripping it. I was like, I don't know if this is going to work. It didn't. So instead of, you know, taking it off and doing it over, I just put a flower there. Good save to my daughter, filming. So um, there we go. And I also blocked out the, um, the bottom with the days in October. So I just kind of visually see where the month ends. I like to kind of fill it in like that, kind of leading into the month or leading out of the month, whatever the case may be. So that's it. And I hope it's a little bit helpful because I don't know, the monthly spread doesn't always get much love. So good luck and I will see you in my next video.